Hey guys, I'm Ada, and if you are new here, welcome. And if you are OG and you've been watching me for a minute, what's up? Um, today I have a haul video. If you saw my Instagram, my lemonade, or my TikTok, you know that I showed a couple things that I have been hauling over um, the past few weeks, I want to say. And I'm going to show you what I got. So first we're going to start with Ulta. Um, I went ahead and picked up this Kapora, Kapori um, Body SPF 45. is the Rose Gold Sun Shield Body Glow SP5. I love this stuff. We went on a cruise last, uh, last I said last October, last August. And this is all me and my wife uses SPF. And it had us looking like. But then just glossy. You know what I mean? Just real glossy and whatnot. And it was nice, especially at nighttime, just putting it on a little bit. You know you don't need SPF at night. But when you have something glowing like this and you're exposing skin, when you expose skin, you need to glow. You just gotta glow. Like there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. So this is what we have been reaching for. Um, we still have some, but I decided just to pick up another one just to be on the safe side. Okay, now let me see what else is in here. I got a few masks that are tried and true and loved. The first one is the Pore Professional, Pore Professional Speedy Smooth Quick Smoothing Pore Mask. This is one that you can I can see myself using in the morning. Well, that I do use in the morning just for a quick like nose and cheek, top of the cheeks area and then here we have my loved my beloved this is the pore professional deep retreat pore clearing mask so you know how sometimes you use a pore clearing mask then you use a purple mask to help with brightening this is two in one you get the purple effect and you get the pore cleansing effect so it's a one smash deal okay this may be a little tmi but i don't care i love poopery especially when i'm in public or i'm in someone's house i love poopery because i don't have to worry about that lingering smell or worrying about oh my god how long have i been in here they probably think i'm here taking a poop or something like that like i don't care take go to somebody's house to take a shit i don't care especially well i do care if it's like your first place like you just moved in I want you to christen your own bathroom don't get me wrong but after that it's it's just a free-for-all but look at this i don't know if you guys know what the old poopery used to look like it was like a it's a it's a tube and it has a spray on top it was just real clunky to carry around i still have it in my purse now it's really clunky to carry around but this reminds me of the whatchamacallit the um touchland ones I don't think there's a way you can refill it. I think once you're done with it, you kind of just done with it and you just gotta repurchase another one. But they're mad and expensive, which is a, a benefit. And they're, they're just cute to have on the go. <laughs> what else do I have in here? Vitamins. I have vitamins. I first have the TGI Wild Growth Vitamin Hair, Skin, and Nails Gummy with biotin, vitamin C, avec biotin, and oh no, that's a different language. Um, berry flavor, and it's two pieces a day, and they look like little bit teddy bears. Um, and I plan on starting these next monday why next monday i don't know i just want to start them next monday and then i bought I, I i bit the bullet and i went ahead and i was like let me see let me you know what i'm trying to say let me see what these are all about 
I have tried the Hum Flatter Me, which I absolutely loved and considered repurchasing. But then I saw these and I was like, okay, let me see what they're all about. So the first one I picked up was the Lemmy Burn Metabolism and AMPK Activator. Now, I did watch the reviews on these before I went ahead and spent my money. Um, in case anybody was wondering or thinking that, girl, you crazy, you should have read the reviews and blah, blah, blah. I did all that. I did all that. I heard there are a bunch of BS and all this other stuff. But what works for one person may not work for another. And I know people had science to back them up, which is great. Like, that's the type of research I love is when you have science and all that stuff to back you up. But I kind of just want to see for myself. You know what I mean? And then for people who haven't purchased it, who are on the fence about it, I want to be that person to say, okay, this is what it did for me. This is what it may do for you. But also do your own research, if that makes any sense. So I got Lemmy Burn, Lemmy Purr, and then Lemmy Delope. So those are what I purchased. And then last but not least, now I did not get this from Ulta, but you can purchase this at Ulta. I got this from Fragrance Net, I believe it was. Me and my wife decided that we wanted to buy new fragrances. So we bought some. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So this is Jimmy, Jimmy Choo Fever. And when I tell you, I put this on one day because I had the trials, the little travel size. I put this on my, one day and my wife was like, just all oh, sniffing up on me. Like I had a frame on her. And I was like, okay, okay. So my mom go get the big size <laughs> because I'm loving that attention I was getting. The comments were coming in, rolling in. They were just there. And I was like, okay, okay. Like. <laughs> My head is already big. Let's not do anything to make it bigger. But I did go ahead and purchase this and I love the sense of this. It is just perfect. It is it's very sensual. I'll give it that. Let me smell it. Yeah, it's a very sensual perfume. It has little bits of vanilla from what I could smell. Now, let me stop right there. I'm no perfume connoisseur, but I, my nose works. So maybe that counts for a little something. Yeah, it's very sensual. There's vanilla in there. I'm going to say there's sandalwood in there, but I could be wrong. I think there's sandalwood in everything because I love sandalwood. Okay, so let me put these all back in the box. Okay, now we're on to Sephora. First, I want to show you something that I, is not a part of Sephora purchase. That is another fragrance that I just, I've just been looking at and I've just been dying to purchase. And that's You by Glossier. And this is one of those fragrances that changes up on you. It switches up on you. Gotta be, you gotta be fast with this perfume. It, at first it smells very feminine and very florally and very like a little bit of pink sugar you know what I mean it smells like that but then later it turns into this like little kind of musky almost um for me it may change in different ways for different people because it's you it works with your body chemistry your pheromones and all that stuff it works that way and um so yeah, it may be different for you, but it smells amazing. Like you, and it's like you're getting two perfumes in one. Who does not want that? So that was that. Let me get that out the way. Two other scents that I have here. These were on sale when I purchased them. I have two K Ali's. The first one is Invite Only. This is my musky one. This is like very woodsy, very earthy um, type of fragrance. I can even read you the notes that it has. Black cherry, honey providence, tobacco leaf, amber, resin, and vanilla Madagascar. I'm learning things that they are very 
masculine almost but not in a bad way but that's one of the nice perfect <laughs> this one is deja vu oh i didn't even figure out the whole thing invite only amber 23 deja vu white flo white flower 57 this is my favorite out of the two because this is my girly girl scent it has gardenia in there which is one of my favorite scents gardenia jasmine absolute orange flower uh herb tube rose infusion and tahitian vanilla lord this is set to die for now i'm just going to pick things up as i see them i'm not going to go in any particular order um so yeah so we have two one size products they are both primers. Why did I buy more primers? Like, I need more primers? Girl, I don't know. But, I don't know. I just don't. The first one is Cure the Blur. This is what you see. The primer. And then the next one is Secure this way. Now with summer right around the corner, these are, this one in, in particular is great to have. I did not expect it to be so tiny. I don't know why, but, but I did. Um, but it's okay, I'm gonna make it work. And then all the rest of them primers that I have are the Smashbox mattifying one so either way i think i'm gonna be mad let me change the battery and i'll be right back okay i'm back um next we have this piece out why did i have to do this right but this piece out retinol eye stick um i love retinol i want to love on my other eyes a little bit more so I actually picked up two eye creams. Um, I think one may be used for night and one may be used for morning. I'm thinking this retinol will be the night one. Then I purchased a couple of Laneige products. This is a new one. It is the Bounce and Firm Sleeping Mask. It looks like this. Y'all even see this? I don't know. I don't know what y'all see and it's hard for me to see because I don't wear my glasses while I'm recording these videos and I need my glasses to see but yeah and then this is the Laneige um, water bank moisture cream for normal dry skin now let me see what this one looks like do I think oh no I picked up the wrong one okay I picked up this one and I think it kind of looks like this one let's see no oh this one's cute Ooh. but I know I picked up this one in moisture cream I thought I was picking up the sleeping mask but whatever I've tried this I love this and I kind of have a sleeping mask right now in the scent lavender that I'm using so we gonna make it work then we have the other eye cream i was talking about and some of the products that i bought along with it or like anyway i bought the summer friday for summer fridays light allure vitamin c peptide eye cream this will be my morning eye cream while the peace out will be my nighttime night cream eye cream um, let's see what she looks like. Oh, this is cute. I love when the glasses are frosted. I don't know why, but I think that's just really adorable. Or really aesthetically pleasing, I should say. Okay, I'm not sure if I was recording my computer, my, not my computer, my camera is acting real wonky. 
I think it's broken but I'm still trying to get the best out of it that I can and then I was on to talk about how I finally bit the bullet and purchased some summer Fridays lip glosses or lip balms I should say I have pink sugar I have brown sugar I have vanilla and then I have vanilla beige vanilla beige and vanilla are my absolute favorites these two are great don't get me wrong but i just love the color of these the payoff of these are just right down my alley more one size so let's talk about the backstory that relates to this i picked this one up a while back and i've been using it ever since i actually have it on my face today I was like, you know what? I'm going to pick up two more. And for the longest, the absolute longest, they were sold out. So the, when they came back in stock, I was like, you know what, bitch? Buy two. Because you don't know when they're going to go back out of stock. And you love this. So that's what I had, went ahead and did. I bought two. And it was like, look, just in case. But I was a little OCD about that because this still has a lot in there. And I've been using it for quite a while now. So, anyway, I got two of those just to be on the safe side. Oh, here's another Laneige product. I bought the Laneige. Laneige. Why do I keep wanting to say Laneige? There's no R in here. Laneige sleeping mask and lip sleeping mask in the, in the scent or in the flavor berry. I think this is the OG, like maybe one of the first ones that came out I can't be too sure um and then I went ahead and bought the cookies and cream whipped clay intensive pore and blackhead face scrub um by Fenty Skin I have yet to use this so I can't really tell you anything about it but I'm excited to use it okay now here is some of the stuff that I actually have on that I can tell you how I feel about it first one is the Vanessa Myrick yummy skin blurring balm powder face and eyes she looks like this and I think my issue is that I use too much when I'm applying it looks like this it's not as clean as I would want it to be Okay, that's a little better. Looks like this has a little spoon in there so you can keep it nice and sanitized, which is what I've been using. And I think I've just been digging too deep in here. I need to not be so heavy handed when I'm applying it. Because when it's on, I absolutely love it. But it takes me a while to blend it in. And I think it's, the problem is that I'm applying too much. Also, this ain't my color. No ma'am, no ham, no thank you. This is not my color. So I got to go fix that. Because this is 8.5. I think I need to go a little deeper. Um, And then this one, this is in the shade 11. This is the Ser Yummy Skin Serum Skin Tint. Which is also not my color. But what I did is I mixed it with a foundation that I know is my perfect match. And it gave me... The look that we all see today which is absolutely gorgeous it is look at those cheekbones look at them <laughs> but yeah it's definitely not my color i purchased all of this online just fyi but as we can see here in this little mirror letting you know what color is what I played myself. I am sorry. Like, look at that compared to my actual skin. Mad sorry. Mad sorry. Like, <laughs> like, I need to take it back and get my actual color. And then I picked up three blushes. The first one is a girl.
They were so hard to open. This is what I am wearing today as my base color for cheek colors. And it looks like this. It's a cool pink which I think works well for me. I think warm pinks is either I'm doing an orange or I'm not doing an orange. Warm pinks make me feel like um, I couldn't make up my mind. So that's it, girl. These I haven't even taken out the wrapper yet, so I will do swatches and stuff like that later, especially when I get the right color match for these two products. But I have Bellini which is like a peachy orange shade. And then I have Golden Hour, which is more of a red orange. So those are there. I picked up the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops. Backstory to this, I use this today. Oh, okay, we good. I use this today. Um, I got this sample for my birthday, I believe it was my birthday. And I absolutely love the way it makes my skin glow. Um, sometimes I use it on days where I'm literally wearing no makeup. I just want to put it on my face and have my face glow. And it just, it's amazing. So I actually went out with a friend, my best friend, Del, if you're watching this video. Hello. And she purchased this for me. Uh, we kind of bought it together. She bought one and then I was like, buy me one. So she bought it. What a best friend's for, right? <laughs> but yeah, got that. I got the new Ordinary Soothing and Barrier Support Serum. Let's see what she even looks like. Why are all my makeup she's? I don't know. But this is the pink serum. And let's see what it's supposed to do. With lipids, vitamins, and uh, psychotechnology. Sypho? No. Fizzo technology for epidermal repair. Uh, I probably pronounced butchering that word. I don't know what it is. But I tried my best and my mom told me that's what counts. So I got that. And then, yes, yeah, some more products. I got the Fluff and Hold Laminate and Brow Wax from Too Faced. Let's see what she look like. Like I said, the only thing that I tried out is the Denera Myrix and then the stuff that I use on a daily basis because I have sample sizes of them. Oh, it's just a clear brow gel. Why did I think it was something different, like something high end? I got fade. Because the picture definitely had a different brush whatever it was on sale and then last but not least I got the oranges I said oranges Lord. Oh, origins drink up intensive overnight hydrating mask I think when I first started make using makeup origins was my go-to cleanser mask just all of that stuff um so yeah i was like let me dig back into my roots and get a hydrating mask now i feel like this is more intense of a hydrate than the laneige um but i could be wrong i haven't tried this in a long time i've been using laneige for quite some time now and that's been like my, my go-to sleeping mask um so yeah, I could be wrong, but we shall see. And that was Sephora. I am going to bring up my sheet in and uh, we'll see what that's talking about. All right, I'm back. And we're gonna start with the press on nails and phone cases. 
I'm a junkie for phone cases at the moment. So here is the first set of press on nails. Does it have a name? So here's the first set of press on nails. And I don't know if you can see, but it's that cat eye effect. I feel like they're mad long though. So I don't know about that. But I'm definitely eager to try that out. I think all she in nails are just long for no reason. Oh, this one got busted up. What happened? Anyway, I think this one is a cool set. I picked it up because of the way it looks. Like, I don't know if I would usually buy something that looks like this, but I thought it just looked so cool. So I picked this set up. Then I think these are gonna be my birthday nails. I just hope the diamonds, I may have to go over it with a top coat because I don't want no diamonds falling off or no gems falling off on my birthday but here they are and then last but not least these tortoise nails that I was supposed to have been worn in fall but I didn't never pick them up and then when I did pick them up I was like They still want to see the light of the day, though. Because they're cute. And it's not every single nail is that. Now, those are the nails. Now, let's get to the cases. First one is just a clear square case. I've been into the clear square cases. My current case is, like, really square. And I love that. I just, I don't know. I, it just holds better. Plain old clear one with the, um, what is it, the mag tape on there. Then we have a tortoise shell one. Then we have this one that looks like ocean splashing and stuff like that. Then we have this one that's an actual mirror on the back. Then we have this one that's another clear one, but it looks like there's drips dropping all over it. Oh, and then we have our three gem ones. Here we have this one. It has pink gems all over it. And a glittery background. Here we have another glittery background with colorful gems all over it. And then the last one, which I think is my favorite because it's the most simple. No glittery background, just gems. And I think these are, I think these are really cute. Now, I thought about making it myself. Because I saw them and I was like, I could do that. Like taking this and just putting gems on there. And then going ahead and curing it with my um, LED light. But then I was like, mm, I'm not going to do that. And then the last four we have in here. Two of these are the same, just different colors. Then we have this one that looks like a, what is it, like oil slick? So cool. And then last but not least, this one is Affirmations for Anxiety. Now when I bought this, I thought it was going to look a certain type of way. But as you can see, there were, there were affirmations up here, but they got cut out because they painted them over the styrofoam that comes in them which really pissed me off i was too thrilled but i still think it's a nice case um as someone who suffers from anxiety i appreciate anything that will help me through the day okay okay Some things that I have 
has not opened yet. So bear with me. These are the comments to show y'all. They say good. Here we go. They say good vibes and they just have like this little the green on top. It just feels very nostalgic, 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 nostalgic. Damn, what's wrong with me? Nostalgic. Okay, y'all know what I mean. And then I purchased these that are very different. So this one looks like this. On the back is more white. Then you have this one, which is white on the bottom, but then on the other side it's white on top, white on the bottom. This one says mountain on one side, mountain on the other side, but just two different prints. And then this one says the same thing, mountain, but then this. I just thought they were different, and I just wanted to have them. Now these socks right here I bought specifically for a pair of bands that I just bought that are navy blue, suede skin, all this other stuff. Like I just wanted a pair of socks for them. Um, so I went ahead and I picked up a, socks, a pair of socks for them. And then these, once again, I saw them. I thought they looked interesting so I went ahead and picked them up. And it's like you can't really go wrong with Shein because everything is so inexpensive. That even if you did buy something by mistake or whatever, um, you can't really fault yourself for that. Like, it may have been a mistake, but you might have lost, like, what, $2? So, it's like, you know? And you could probably even give it to somebody who it works for or whatever. I'm, I'm rambling. Let's get on to the socks. More rich. Doing nothing. Life goes on. Never too late. You're not alone. Yes, girl. Ooh. What? Oh, yes, girl. You can. Oh, I get it. Yes, girl. Girl. <laughs> yes, girl. You can. You know, girl. And then this one says. rich on you is rich something that I don't know is that a new slang that I'm just too old to know about cause I don't get it I might as well take these off the bag put the other ones off the bag these don't they look like I feel like these are huge Okay, let me put these away real quick. Now we have my biker shorts. Now, if you know me, you know I'm working with a lot back there already. And I just lost tons of weight. I don't know if you guys can notice on camera, but I have lost tons of weight. And I'm wearing this baggy shirt that really is not doing me any justice. But 
<laughs> so I bought a couple of regular shirts. So we have this kind of distressed gray one. And they're the ones that are buttless. I don't know if I'm using that word right, buttless. But they have more material around it than they do in the ass area. Of course I would buy those, right? Like I need to accentuate my behind any more than it's already being accentuated. But I don't care. <laughs> I worked hard. And yeah. And if you man worried about me, you need to find yourself a new man. Feel me? I bought some black ones. These are a little bit longer. Once again, no ass. Now my only concern is, do I gotta worry about the kind of underwear I wear with these? Cause I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna have to worry about the kind of underwear I'm wearing with stuff. This is a tie dye, which I think is so cute. And then the back. Yes, let's put some more. And then we have this blue. It's another distressed looking kind of blue. Just like the black ones. And once again, I should just stop telling y'all once again. But there is one in here that is not backless. And that's this next one that I'm about to show you. All these sizes are in a size large. Um, yeah. Where's the back? Okay, I'm holding it the right way. So this is the front. And then this is the back. As you can see, it's not that scrunched up material. But when I put this on, it looked amazing. Yeah. And then I think we have two more and then I am done. Another distressed pair, but in the shade pink. And just so y'all know, for some of y'all who may be judging out there, I don't necessarily plan on wearing these by themselves. I plan on wearing them with like maybe like a long tee that could possibly cover me if I felt uncomfortable. But then it's like if you felt uncomfortable, why buy these in the first place? So, yeah. So I'm on the fence. Um, if I'm not with my wife, maybe, but I don't know. But another pair of tie-dye ones. Scrunchy backside. And what else do I want to show you? So I know a lot of people talk about the Mighty Patches. But these are one of my favorite patches for before you need a mighty patch is the peach slices deep blemish microdermabrasion or micro darts. So what this is, it's kind of like because the, the mighty patches has one like this and you get like maybe three or four or I think it's four. I, I, I really want to say it's four. You get four in a pack and they're way more expensive than these. These is when you fill that blemish and it's like right there. You put these on top and the next day there's a white head. So then you move on to the Mighty Patch phase. And I have quite a bit of these. Then, along with the same brand, I have Dark 
what do they call it? the peach slices dark spot micro darts I haven't tried these yet but I picked up one, two, three, four, five of them. And these can be purchased at Walmart, just FYI. These, on the other hand, I have tried and I absolutely adore. Once you get that blemish, maybe you were picking at it or something, and um, it formed a dark spot, you put this on right away. Like, no, you do this hand. You put this on right away and that dark spot is gone. And if it's not completely gone, you definitely notice a huge difference in the dark spot. And then you just use these. I think you get six. Yeah, you get six in the pack. Um, how many did you get in this other pack? Oh, you get nine in this pack. And I think for the blemish dots, you get nine also. You put these on right away, and they are ab. They're it's it's gone. It's it's gone. And like I said, if they're not gone. They're definitely highly diminished. Now this year has been my year for skincare. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed. Let me get a little bit closer. My skin is looking pretty flawless. <laughs> Let I me mean, not pipe myself up. But I have definitely been working on my skin. I've definitely been in a very depressive state. So one thing I can't control is my skincare. So I've been trying to control that. Um, especially with getting that, not even the glass skin look, but just a flawless skin. Like a skin that I, like not that I feel like I have to wear makeup every day because this is the first time I've thrown a full face of makeup in months months but aside from that um the vitamin c that i'm using right now is the nutrium nutri natrium i forget how they said they pronounce it but nat i think it's natrium yeah i think it's natrium this is the vitamin c super serum plus and then i went ahead and picked up the vitamin c complex serum this is what they look like This one I'm using now. I have a bottle in the cabinet, but I wanted the second one, and this one I'll be introducing. Those two you can get at Target. And then, if you follow me on Lemonade, you know I am a finery girl. Those are my perfumes. They are inexpensive, they are dupes for other perfumes, and they last. They last on your skin. So the first one is pistachio, please. And this smells like pistachio milk, fluffy vanilla, and tinoka bean. I sprayed them all on the cap so I can see what they smell like. And it's just so, it's feminine. It's sweet. It's, yeah. The next one is without a trace. smells so good this the um scents are okay what is this new early knee new early blossom cedarwood and suede musk i asked my wife if i could buy a tripod and she was like mm, i don't know I try off my phone because I want to be able to record myself recording myself. So yeah. And then the last one is the new Rouge. This one they say is the Baton Rouge. I think that's what it's called. I bet it's Baton Rouge is the place. Ain't it? Okay, let me hurry up because my camera's is bad. But this one is gold, saffron, amber, resin, and sandalwood. And this is the sexy smell. This is what you put on when you about to go out. I mean for the night. So yeah, those that's what's the <laughs> that was
was my haul video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Comments, questions, and concerns leave them down below. Please go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that notification button so you see what I'm putting out because I plan on putting stuff out and I'm not even going to talk about it. I'm going to prove it to y'all. So just keep an eye out for that. And also follow me on my on my other platforms. A lot of them are going to be turned into I am Ada, some form or another. But yeah, that was the video. Um, I'll see you on another one. Alright, bye y'all.